Oh, Jack in the Box tacos. I wouldn't serve those to my worst enemy. But also, I would really like some right now. Now, seriously though, what's up gang? We got a new video today for a menu hack of a legendary item. Probably the most sought after or iconic menu item uh, at Jack in the Box at least. Among all fast food, might be possible. But definitely at Jack in the Box. Uh, it's the two tacos, the two crispy tacos. Sometimes a buck fifty, here they're a buck ninety eight after tax. And um, what can I say? These things speak for themselves. People come through the drive through just to get two tacos, you know? Not two orders of tacos, just two tacos. And, um, you know, I've seen them customized all sorts of ways. No lettuce, no cheese, no sauce, or any combination of the three. I've never seen, like, full meat tacos, but, um, you know... There's, uh, there are ways to customize it, you know, so I would just say I'm going to explore that today and I'm going to share that with you and then teach you a few tricks and little taco hacks that you could use yourself. This was inspired the other day um, when a customer came through and he wanted fresh tacos. So let's go see how they're made. Let's go make up some fresh tacos and then we'll get to the hacks. All right, so you take your tacos out of the fryer, half slice of American cheese, plenty of lettuce because it's a good cheap filler, and then you top it off with the regular jack-in-the-box taco sauce. All right, slide it in, and then you got your classic jack-in-the-box tacos. Beautiful. All right, gang, so we got two fresh tacos made the old-fashioned way. Lettuce, sauce, cheese, uh, and the meat. The meat is actually chicken. I believe with some tofu it's possible, but don't quote me on that because it would be like an allergy issue for people with soy allergies, which is one of the big eight. Now somebody said make it fresh. Okay, here's how you tell if your tacos are fresh. Here's a fresh one, the one I just made. It'll have a snap if you try to bend it. Now here is one that's not fresh. I'm not selling this. This is purely for entertainment purposes. But see, it just bends. No snap, and then it bends back. And it didn't actually break even. Yeah, I would throw this one out. But if, uh, you know, you do that to the cashier, you know, they give you a taco, you bend it like that and ask if they can make it fresh. Um, you know, it's, they shouldn't be selling those, so. You could get the item given back and you can get it made fresh. So that's the first tag. Now, another one, if you miss the monster taco, they have it, okay? You can get spicy nacho tacos or you could get a bacon ranch taco. You can also add a slice of uh, tomato or sour cream. These are all additionals you can add on to the base tacos, which make it, like, more unique. But people don't order it. You don't get the bacon ranch taco, and you don't get the spicy nacho taco. Even the sour cream, that's kind of a weird one. But yeah, they have sour cream on the menu for an additional upcharge. But let us have just a classic taco. delicious and you know I've been working here for a couple of weeks now and I still haven't gotten tired of this as it's just so iconic mm. it's crispy it's spicy it's definitely very meaty and melty It is just perfectly balanced. But let us make a different kind. 
All right, so here you have the extent of the taco customization list. As you can see, they got two kinds of standard cheese, taco cheese and shredded cheddar. But if you wanted to get cheddar cheese sauce, that would count as a sauce, but you could definitely get it added as well as the ranch. Uh, the cheddar sauce and the ranch sauce are both the key factors to making the bacon ranch taco or the sliced jalapeno loaded nacho taco. Cheese sauce and jalapenos for loaded nacho, bacon and ranch for bacon and ranch. Okay, you can add standard vegetables, which are in most tacos, onions and tomatoes, sour cream and salsa as well if you wanted that you know, and shredded cheddar, so, a bunch of different combos, so I didn't have to eat, like, a thousand different taco combinations, I just took a picture of the screen, uh, this is within the current edition of the software, so you can go there and order any of this stuff inside the tacos, okay, you just need to ask at the window, and then, as soon as I get a new, uh, update, I will upload it, but for now, I'll leave you with this, so just monitor this list, and then like and subscribe to the channel for more menu hacks. Have a nice day.